don't want this to end. I promise you, I, if we have anything to do with it, it ain't going to end. We, we want to track want with this. She says, we are so in love with you, Jesus, and I can only say amen. I mean, the, the worship tonight. Just feel that right there. Oh, listen, Katie, God bless you. Watching from South Australia. It is so uplifting watching God TV at home. Cannot wait for the revival to hit Australia. 
There's a profit right there. Come on, come on. That's it. We need it in Australia, <laughs> for we sure. Need, we need it enough. One, one of the, the guys who climbed Kilimanjaro with us, uh, Johan, uh, or Jan, he actually says, and, he, and his heart was to make sure that revival comes to his part of the town in Australia. Yes. So, Australia, watch out. God is coming to Australia with the anointing. But, Rory, I've got a testimony here. Fantastic. Fact, it's only one word, and it's from Clarence here in the United States. And it says, fire. She says, fire. <laughs> We had some fantastic testimonies about the kids. Uh, just amazing what the Lord has been doing. Maybe you can find that one on the I children. I have it right here. Yes. I was praying for the presence, uh, for the precious uh, children yesterday. My about four-year-old was watching with me. I laid my hands on her and agreed in prayer, and she was filled with sweet Holy Spirit. She was laughing hysterically for almost one hour. <laughs> I spoke over in tongues for a whole time, and her, his presence oh. was so sweet. And this is from Kirsten in Canada. God bless you, Kirsten. Thank you for letting us know what God has done with your little girl. It's yeah, precious, it's precious. fantastic. Listen, we have Raphael. Come here, Raphael, quickly. Raphael's helping us on our social media, and I need his help. I need your help to get the Twitter going. So how do I get it on my... Just figure it out for me. And then while he's doing that, Raphael's taking care of our social media, doing a great job. I just want to say, uh, this is from Alicia. You just sent me, I greet you in the loving name of God. Due to circumstance, I could not be present to hear the worship and beliefs. As today, I've come seeking prayer for my family and those less fortunate as well. She basically is just asking for prayer, also to cover me in your prayers. Uh, she's talking about a financial breakthrough that she's believing for. So Alicia, your prayer request, which just has come through, prayerofgod.tv, we'll be printing out and putting it on the altar. And then I've got another one here just saying I'm sending my prayer request um, for a guy by the name of Jerome, praying that God delivers him from drug addiction. And I'll tell you something, the anointing is so strong. It's the anointing that breaks the yokes in all of our lives, spirit, soul, and body, and frees us up into the liberty of our Lord Jesus Christ. Marcel, what have you got there? I've got, I hope I pronounce this correctly, it's Isabay. And Isabay is from the United Kingdom. And she says, I received healing today for an incurable thyroid eye disease. That is fantastic. Do you get something like that? I, I don't that? know, thyroid eye disease. You know, what do I know? Listen, but anyway. If you're healed, we just praise God with you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, there's another one here. Thank you so much for God TV and Brother Bentley. I, I have, or you have changed my life in so many ways. Oh, that's words, wonderful. there's no ways or words that I have that can express my appreciation for this. This is from Keith here in South Africa. Thank you, Keith. And they're coming in. Keep them coming in. Pastor Moses, I've just got your uh, testimony from, uh, from Pastor Moses on the awakening at God.tv. So right here, we get to see him live. Get your email in. If it's a prayer request, we'll print it out and put it on the altar. Uh, they can tweet us. Yeah, at God TV. You can tweet us at God TV. We're looking, we're responding. We just upgraded our uh, internet, so we'll be back with you even quicker than we were before. Tweet Rory right now at God TV so he can see. Just mention us in a comment. Or retweet us. Just retweet something we've said and you'll see it pop up when we mention you. Listen, Wendy said, Rory, what's happening with your hair? And I said, honey, I've got earphones underneath this. So, okay, you must know it's not because my hair's like got great wings, okay? It's actually headphones so we can hear one another. But something come through yet? Yeah, Jonathan Halton. Jonathan Halton, you just retweeted God TV. We appreciate that. It's awesome. Fantastic. You're watching live. You're watching live from Durban. Awesome. Thank you. And Beverly, I see Beverly's just sent us a tweet as well. That's fantastic. Well, Raphael, will Oh, I see. Anyway, let's go back to worship. Who wants to know that? But listen, get your prayer requests on tweet. That's the whole reason why we want to bring it up. And we're getting up to speed. By the way, quickly, just a testimony has come through here. Go ahead, read it. Marcel, did you see it? Oh, the most recent one. No, no, I got the most recent one. I'm ahead of you, brother. I'm so excited. All right, this is, <laughs> this is Marie Louise. God bless you. This is fantastic. I got my healing from IBS stomach problem. A friend and I watched from Sweden. And the power of God fell, and my friend felt that pain left her body. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship him. Let's worship the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Nothing 
God bless Todd, Wendy, Rory, the whole team that are working there, Fresh Fire God TV. Uh, that's Caroline. Thank you so much from Virginia. What have you got there, brother? I've got Mark here. He says, last night I got baptized in the Holy Spirit. And today I have had people walk into the church that uh, go to and, and, and come and talk to me about their drugs and ask me to pray for them. Yes. So there we go. So the anointing is already starting to spread through you, dear viewer. And we're still getting testimonies from Sunday night service with the phone, the cell phone thing. Or was that? Yes, it was Sunday night, right? Sunday. I, I've never seen that before on television here in the room, you in your living rooms. I mean, it's amazing the testimonies that come back around the world. I tell you, Jesus is so desperate, beloved, to touch you and I and all of those out there. One billion souls is what we're focusing on. Listen, I've got Jonathan Holton, one of our team in the United Kingdom. He's in one of our God TV living rooms. Jonathan, good evening. Welcome to the Great Awakening Revival South Africa. Which part of the UK are you in, my brother? We are all right there. The North West of England is awesome. God is doing amazing things. There's an explosion of living rooms across the country. It's absolutely incredible what God is doing. Wonderful. Now, you are in a God TV living room tonight, right? Yeah, we're in a God TV living room tonight with about 10 people gathered here from Bolton. Uh, people from all walks of life, passionate to see a move of God in this area across the nation and across the world. Okay, Jonathan, I cannot hear a word you're saying. I'm sorry, my brother, but I'm sure it's exciting. Is there anything else you'd like to encourage our viewers in terms of turning their homes into God TV living rooms? Absolutely, Rory. We want to see even more living rooms across the country breaking out. We've seen miracles all over the UK. I would encourage everybody to get signed up to have a living room and invite their friends. This is a great evangelism tool that can change their nation. Fantastic. Uh, Jonathan doesn't know it, but Jonathan, Wendy, and I are thinking about having you out here in Tongot, Durban. Now I can hear Jonathan. Now she. <laughs> listen, Chelsea Reagan's taken over. Amen. Wonderful. Yeah, no, listen, I'll tell you more. Just hang in there, Jonathan. Chelsea Reagan has taken over praise and worship. We're going to join her in, the, in a few moments, Saints. Don't worry about it. But we just want to get some information across to you guys. She's do, it's a beautiful anointing here. Oh, absolutely. That sweet presence yeah. we're talking about, it's right here. And, and I can hear them saying, well, get on with it because we want to get back. They want to get into the worship. Patience. Come on, let's do God the glory here in terms of testimonies. But Jonathan, living rooms opening up. The one in Bolton, just give the couple's first name that are hosting it there and, and please just thank them on our behalf. We're so glad that they've made it an extension of this revival uh, platform. Well, maybe we've lost Jonathan. I think so. There's <laughs> nothing coming back. Yes, sir. Let's go back to praise and worship. Let's join Chelsea Reagan and the team here, all the wonderful congregants, and let's worship our King. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just to see your face, God. You restore my soul. Jesus. You restore my soul. say thank you guys we finally got the twitter going here and that's great it's at god tv i got it now no oh. if you want to tweet us it's at apparently that sign's very important at god tv and by the way you can also tweet todd bentley todd bentley is at i am todd bentley so however you guys want to do that but mark just says uh mark batterson's just sent us a, a tweet i don't know if you're supposed to say surnames maybe not so um many people coming in here i even got a tweet from <laughs> Help me get <here> myself. <laughs> anyway, oh, the wrong button. Okay, there we go. Stop laughing at me. Okay, here we go. Tennis, uh, thank you so much. She says, hi, Marcel Rory, watching you live from Fixburg. Uh, so glad and excited what God's doing. Shalom. Praise the Lord. Godfrey, thank you for tweeting us. Um, and then Clayton, thank you. He says, hi, I'm Clayton. I'm watching from Stanger, KwaZulu. And then we've got Michelle there. Worship is alive. Oh, fantastic. On fire. I know. That's uh, Chelsea Reagan who's come in to help and take over to give uh, Zion a little bit of a break. That's correct. You yes. know, I'm telling you, it's now going on days and days and days, and the team are settling into a routine where we've got A teams, B teams, or A plus teams, B so everybody can rest. We're pushing through this Sunday, Saints. So if you want to get down here, they should come. They need to come right away, Rory. It's happening. And also, I've got here Belinda who says, uh, she's here from, from uh, Port. Port Elizabeth, and she says, to God be the glory, great things has been done, and it actually is happening here right now. Thank you, Todd, for bringing the fire of the revival to South Africa. We want more, we want more, we want more, we Amen. want more. And we are praying right now, saints, all of our partners, all of our high donors, those people who have the gift of wealth, God has given you great resources. We're praying and believing we can extend another week. Pastor Ronnie and Pastor Sheila here in the local church want to do it. Brother Todd feels that we should be doing it. Wendy's right now, she's been working on this all day, every day since we've been on air. She and her team have been working through getting testimonies organized and getting us organized so that we're able to bring this to you. They're rearranging schedules and working hard that we can actually continue next week. So we don't want to stop the Sunday, Marcel. So if you are inspired by this and you have the means to underwrite it, call the number on the screen and talk to either Marcel or one of our regional directors around the world and say, look, I want to put something significant and make sure and then Wendy promised me she'll come back she'll come here is that for real which means if I'm not here on Thursday night Friday night it means I'm on my way to the United Kingdom to collect my better half wouldn't oh, that be awesome praise God Wendy 
You are coming. Pack your bags. Come on, <laughs> pack your bags. Listen, this great awakening in South Africa, they're coming in from all over now. Well, look at this now. I've got, uh, just now, on the email, it says, uh, it's Bobby from Canada. It says, flying from in I'm flying in from Canada on Saturday for 13 days. Now, what a place that, to... That's a prophetic statement because we haven't made a decision that we're going to continue. Well, she'll be here for Saturday, Sunday night. Exactly. And then she can see beautiful South Africa. Come on. And experience this sweet spirit right here. Come on. The sugar in the sugarcane country. country. King Shaka International Durban Airport. That's where you need to get to, Saint. Let's go back and worship the Lord. Brother Todd will be sharing tonight powerfully. And Wendy said to me earlier today, she said, Holy Holy, holy, holy. Let's worship the king. Yeah. 
lifting their hands up. So everyone in this room and everyone at home, I just want you to just position yourself in a place of surrender, whatever that look, looks like for you, if that's on your knees, on your face, with your hands raised. For those of you at home, you can get this too. So just with every hand raised or whatever place of surrender you choose to be, let's just sit at his feet and worship him. Jesus Focus your eyes on his face. And we sit at your table. And we worship you, Jesus. And we sit at your table. And we worship you, Jesus. And we sit at your table. to the table. And as I lay down my life, and let this be my sacrifice. Just come to the, the table. Just prayers. come to the table. I would pay any price. Let's go after this. And as I lay down my life, and let this be my sacrifice, the light of your face. I would pay any price. Come and sit at his feet. Lay down my life. Come and sit at his feet. Let this be my
said anointing here right now of a deep place, a deep place of intimacy. It's a different anointing. It's a different anointing than what you might have been tasting in the last few days. But it's an anointing of a spirit of intimacy for the deep calls on the deep place in the heart of God that we can come like Mary right now and sit at his feet. And I'm saying the altars are open if you want to come and sit at the table. You want to come and sit at the feet of Jesus right now and really go after this. But there's an intimacy realm of glory that's coming down tonight. Something about the holy, holy presence of the Lamb of God as we feast with Him tonight at His table. And He restores my soul. It's a prophetic promise that God is releasing right now. It's an oil to restore your soul in your living rooms all over the world. You're watching on God TV tonight. Let your living room be transformed into a place where you can come like Mary and break open the alabaster box and let the house be filled with the fragrant oil of worship. Lord, it's an anointing like Mary. Can we just go after this tonight? We're just singing and declaring Psalms 23 and we're saying he's restoring our soul tonight. My cup is running over. He's giving me a table tonight and my table is in the presence of my enemies so my enemies can see the favor of God on me tonight. Just come forward out of your seats and just come to the feet of Jesus right now. Come to the feet of Jesus right now. I'm asking you to come forward and just get at the feet of Jesus. Get on your face before the throne of God and let this let that glory come. Hallelujah. 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 We just want it tonight, God. The deep, the deep place. The deep place. very feet of God, the very feet of Jesus, we bring our sacrifice, God we break open the box, it's a fragrant oil of worship, a deep place into the very heart of God, we can go deeper tonight church, we can go deeper in Tonga, we can go deeper in South Africa, we can go deeper in your living room tonight, we can go deeper wherever you're watching tonight. I want you to go deeper. Come to the very table tonight. It's a table in the presence of your enemies. It's a banqueting table. It's a house of wine. And we're going to feast. We're going to feast with the king. And we're going to drink the wine. We're going to eat the milk. We're going to eat the honey. Come to the table. Oh, the table. Just worship Jesus. There's an oil here restoring your soul tonight. Get it on you. God, pour out that oil. 
Jesus. No evil, no evil. at your table we just drink tonight we just want you to pour out that spirit of intimacy how many of you want to go into the deep place into the heart of God the deeper place going to restore your soul. I'm here watching tonight and you're burned out, broken, tired, discouraged. You're in a place right now. God, restore my soul. This is an hour of restoration. This is an hour of God's favor and acceptance. This is an hour of promotion and increase. An hour of rising out and breaking out and coming back and recovering all that was lost. This is an hour of the mercy and an hour of the goodness of God. And it's an anointing that's being poured out. You just come to the table, the table of the Lord, the banqueting table, the house of wine tonight. And you come and you dine with him and he will dine with you. We're going to sit at his very feet and we're going to worship him like Mary. We just love you tonight, oh God. Tell him we love you. We worship you, Jesus. living rooms. May the very oil of heaven come into your living rooms. The fragrant oil, the very garment, the very perfume of his garments. Like Jesus walking into the room tonight. There's something of intimacy to grab a hold of. There's something we can break open in the spirit tonight in the realm of glory, in the realm of the presence of God. Don't be satisfied. Let's be hungry tonight and say, God, I want another wave. I want another wave of glory. I want another wave of glory. The most notable, remarkable miracles are going to come. Another level of the fear of the Lord and creative miracles are going to come when we break through into a place where we say, God, it's not just about miracle signs and wonders, but it's about the very glory presence of Jesus. If we don't have the glory of God, the manifest glory of God, then all we're doing is having another meeting. And we didn't come to have another meeting. And we haven't been having other meetings. We've been, God has been moved moving moving in this place but I just sense tonight that there's a deeper place that we can all go if you're hungry with me tonight for the glory of God we can eat we can drink we can have intimacy at his table tonight and we can have as much as we want the Bible says Mary would sit at his feet 
and hear his sayings. There's something about the voice of God being released in intimacy. Revelation released in intimacy that comes out of sitting at his feet. You might be here tonight because you need a miracle. There's a lot of people here tonight that need miracles. People that have never been in a meeting like this before. And you're saying, who's that on the platform? That's our worship leader, Chelsea Reagan, part of our ministry team. We just brought her in from America. She got off on an airplane, just connected with this band for the first time, and she's jumped right into bringing us into the heart of God. Hallelujah. This bringing us into the heart of God. Let's just go there tonight. There's an anointing that's been coming in our meetings when we sing this song. An anointing of mercy and goodness. An anointing of restoration. These anointings in Psalms 23, they're being released. up he's pouring it out he's pouring out the oil he's pouring out the wine just pouring it out it's coming into the room like honey let it be the dew of his presence the very dew Lord let it be the cream the butter let it be the oil and the wine the mighty wind and the fire let it be the floods and the rivers. Jesus, it's so good. It's your mercy and your goodness. So follow me all the days of my life. It's the banqueting table and it's in the presence of my enemies. My enemies can see me at his table with the oil of God's favor on me. And we're sitting at his table at his feet like Mary. And we're listening to your voice, God. this room Holy Spirit let the glory of God Spirit of God hovering like a glory canopy God that canopy of glory reaching into every home it's not just a healing revival but the glory presence of Jesus that's what's being poured out we're under a cloud we're under a cloud of his glory we're drinking, we're feasting, 
Worship you, Jesus. When we sit at your table, we just worship you, Jesus. When we worship you, Jesus. Every person tonight. When we worship you, Jesus. In the balconies tonight. Just worship. You're feeling that presence of God. You're feeling something many of you have never felt before. And he's pouring out hope. And he's pouring out love. And he's pouring out mercy. And he's pouring out goodness for those that are thirsty and tired and weak and burned out. This is an hour of restoration. This is an hour of the oil of his goodness and mercy. This is an hour of the oil of his favor. The light of his countenance that's being released on you tonight. You stand in that glory. How long? How long can you stand in that glory? How long can you go, church? How much is the Lamb of God worth it? How much is the Lamb of God? Oh, the Lamb. How many of you want to see a realm of the Lamb of God on His throne come into this place, uh, into every living room? The Lamb of God. Every nation watching the Lamb of God, the Holy Lamb coming into your living room right now. There's something of a brand new, a fresh anointing tonight of going into a deeper place uh, in these meetings, uh, a deeper place in worship, a deeper place in the heart of God. Oh, reach out for it. Reach out for it. So hungry, God. We worship. We worship Jesus. Every time, it's got my heart, it's got my heart tonight. Every time we sing that song, I just can't stop. I start moving into such a deep place in the very heart of God. I start touching a realm in the secret place, a place in the Holy Spirit. Sometimes for an hour, we'll just sing sit at your table and worship you, Jesus. Just before the very throne of God. You've never felt it. Lift your hands up and the Holy Spirit is touching people. He's pouring it out. There's people in this room. You've never been in a meeting like this. We have Christians here. We have Hindus here. We have Muslims here. We have skeptics, unbelievers here. We have people that are lost, prodigal sons and daughters. People watching this broadcast. 214 nations, many living rooms right now. You've turned into a place where you can soak and you can wait on the Lord. And people are getting touched and healed. There's a realm of miracles and power and authority coming tonight. There's a realm of signs and wonders that are showing up in this meeting tonight that you're going to receive even as you're watching. But there's something about capturing the heart of God and saying, God, I want to walk with you like Adam. I want to walk with you like Enoch. I want to walk with you like Moses and speak to God face to face as a friend speaks to a friend. How many of you are satisfied with the face of God? It's the presence of Jesus and God. Sacrifice. I want to I want to lay down my life. Be a sacrifice. Can you do that tonight? Just present yourself a living body. Just surrender again. All over the world, do it. In front of your televisions in the living room. Just sing it again.
I'll pay any price. Come on, sing it. I will lay down my life. is coming to me. All over the room, get ready. All over the room, watching in your living rooms. Father, Father, let the anointing deep calls on to deep spirit of intimacy, the deeper realms of glory be released right now. There's an anointing. It's an impartation. Grab it in the room tonight. Something's breaking open in the presence of God. Breaking open. And another wave. Another wave of glory. Another wave. Pay any price. Pay any price. Drink at your table. We drink at your table. We eat. We feast at your table. You're sitting at his feet. In your heart, in your heart, you're sitting at his feet. You sit at your table, God. We worship you, Jesus. Restore my soul. There's an anointing tonight if you're watching me. That's a word from heaven. He's going to restore your soul. He's going to restore your soul. It's an anointing right now for those that are broken in their hearts all over this room. It's not just an anointing for healing in your body, but I just felt for the first time in all these days that we've been here now, I just felt an anointing of His goodness, His mercy, His oil and His wine, and an oil come into this room that can restore you, restore your marriage. There's an anointing now restoring marriages, says the Lord. There's an anointing now restoring businesses, restoring relationships, fathers and sons and sons and daughters. There's an anointing right now and it's restoring the fire it's restoring the hunger and the passion it's restoring the ministry how many people need restoration 
God restore something that the devil has taken from you. God, gonna give it back sevenfold. It's happening tonight. I'm telling you, this awakening, this revival is a picture of God's grace, 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 grace. It's a prophetic picture of what restoration, what grace, what goodness looks like again. And it's not just for me, but it's for you. You can grab a hold of it right now and let that oil come and restore, restore your soul. I'm telling you, trauma, trauma, abuse, brokenness in your heart, a broken heart, a broken spirit. The love of God is here. Put your hand on your heart. And in one moment in this atmosphere, I saw the Lord healing years of pain, shame, rejection. I see the wound of your heart. The love of God doing something in your heart, watching in your living rooms right now. I'm speaking a word that years of abuse, people that took advantage of you, even physically, they took advantage of your body. There's women that are being healed right now. And all those years of pain and fear and anxiety and depression, they're going. I speak a healing word because there's an anointing to bind up hearts that are broken. Take it. It's the oil and the wine. It's the oil and the wine sitting at his table he's healing grab a hold of it this is a moment right now where there might be thousands millions watching around the world and we're in worship but this is but this is an encounter a realm in which you're being invited into a place in the heart of God that you can go right now and you get there and he's going to touch you right now he's going to take you out of the shadow of death and you're going to say I fear no evil he's going to take you into a place where he leads you by the still waters and he leads you into the green pastures and you declare the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want 